Now, people have been requesting that I check out some of the old prog bands uh, from the early 70s. Pink Floyd are my go-to band from that era, um, and a lot of bands that I listen to in the modern era have taken their stuff from Floyd as well. So, you know, I like... That's the kind of music I tend to like. The other bands of that era, Genesis, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Egg, because I heard an Egg song on the Great Whistle Test when they... I don't know, who the hell are they? Uh, the Canterbury scene, groups like Camel and things like that. Um, I tend to... Uh, I've heard songs here and there by these bands and they've never really interested me. The only song... It's, I think it's Fanfare for a Common Man. Is that that's an Emerson Lake and Palmer? I think it's, that's the name of it. Um, that's got a wonderful uh, sound to it. But uh, another song I've heard by them just left me cold. Um, I don't know why it is because uh, there's plenty of uh, progressive bands. I mean, Marillion took a lot of their ideas from Genesis, for instance. But I've heard a couple of Genesis tracks in the past, from the past, from the uh, Peter Gabriel era and stuff, and gone like, no. So. In many ways, this is out of my comfort zone to listen to uh, one of these bands because it's like, I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy um, what they are going to offer me for whatever reason. I don't know why. Don't know why. Don't know why it is. Just never really got into them. But uh, I've been. Re it's been a suggestion from uh, one of my regulars. Yes, I have regulars. I've said that in another video. Um, so I enjoyed the last video I did. So. Uh, at least I've got one regular coming back. Um, the other regular might go like, No! No! And the person uh, will go like, How dare you if I don't like this or something? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. It's just uh, it just, it's just an interesting little thing. Interesting little experiment. To how to alienate people. My way. Uh, by listening to the music they suggest and then going like, Oh. Um, but I went into that one going like, oh, I can't that like this, and went, woo. Um, so let's see if Lucky Man by Emerson, Lake and Palmer um, is a two for two with uh, the sticks one. Let's give it a go, shall we? Um, as soon as I can work out how to actually turn the thing on, because I'm using different buttons for all sorts of things, and I should have used this one. I'm stick guitar and drum, and now drum. White horses and ladies by the score, all dressed in satin and waiting by the door. Ooh, what a lucky man he was! It's a nice little uh, chorus, and suddenly comes in straight away. They made up his bed A gold-covered mattress On which he was led Ooh, what a lucky man he was So far, so good. He went to fight wars for his country and his king of his honor and his glory. The people would sing. Blood ran as he cried. No 
but this is a uh, nice addition. So, ELP, Lucky Man. Um, lucky song, because I was losing interest towards the end, I have to say. Um, it kicked off gently, parochially, I thought, mm, it's alright. And then, of course, the very simple, but the chorus hit. Um, and it's, got a, it's a very nice uh, uplift to the song. And I was into it a little bit. And then, of course, uh, it went through its couple of stanzas. Then we get to the... Uh, the little solo part, the little musical part, which was very nice indeed. Then it goes back to what it was doing before, and I was quite happy about it until that point, and then I started, I started to drift. Even though it's only a short song, I started to drift a little bit. Um, it wasn't catching my interest as much. Um, but then Keith Emerson goes keyboard crazy with those special uh, and suddenly the song goes woo! That's an interesting ending. Um, it could have done with more weird moments like that. Of course, I mean, they were going, it's like, it's almost like, I don't know if this was released as a single or something uh, to, to catch people, to go, make people go, woo, that's very interesting. Um, and it's very nice. Um, and that's all you can say about the song, really. It was very nice. Um, but then it's got a real, like, twist in the tail at the end, which makes me go, ooh, yeah. So we got a, a decent start, um, and we're a little middle, but then we got a, like, a, Ah, it's too samey, too samey for me to uh, continue to enjoy it. And then suddenly Keith Emerson goes, <laughs> this will get you back on board. And it did, it did. Not sure if I want to listen to it again, but I think maybe on repeat listenings, it's one of those songs that you go like, yeah, I like this. Um, but uh, on a single listen, it's like, it's a toughie. Uh, and those are the best ones really, aren't they? The ones where you go automatically, you're like, no. People go like, yeah, they get you. Um, for ones that you go like, mm, I don't know, people go, there's hope, there's hope, until you dash it again at a later date. Um, so, it's got its good points, it's got its bad points. Um, I wouldn't go back to listen to it personally, but I did enjoy his uh, experimentation on the keyboards, um, and I did enjoy the chorus bit a little bit, and the uh, instrumental break. So it's got it's got things going for it. If I end up listening to an album and it's on there, I might like it even more because I've heard it. You never know. You never know. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to click that like and subscribe, etc., etc. I will see you for another one very soon. Bye.